Have I got a treat for you today? We're looking through the HUD of the Boeing 737 uh, MAX 8. Uh, heads up display, the new way to fly. And stay tuned towards the end of the video. We're going to take the airplane up to 38,000 feet. It's going to look totally different. Well worth it. Left side is airspeed, 294 knots. Right side is barometric altimeter, about 1,000 feet. And the middle, 1020, that's a radar altimeter. The most important thing is that horizontal line running left to right through the screen. That's the zero degree pitch line. Flight path vector is now on the zero degree pitch line. Flight path vector is where the airplane is going. So right now we're in level flight because we're on the zero degree pitch line. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see BS minus 50, zero, means we're essentially in level flight. Uh, above the flight path vector, we have a little V symbol. That's where the nose is pointed. So, autopilot's coming off, and I'm gonna put the flight path vector above the horizon. We put the airplane into a climb, 1,000 feet per minute. Five degrees nose up pitch, four and a half degrees nose up pitch. Now we'll pitch down, there we are below the zero degree pitch line, meaning we're in a descent, 400 feet per minute down. The noise you hear there, that's the trim. It's a, it's a 737, so you start to trim it a lot. So here I am doing a bank right angle. turn, about bank 33 angle. degrees bank, so airplane's not happy, it's telling me to ease off on the bank. Top right is the angle of attack. So now we got 10 degrees nose up pitch and the airplane is climbing about 7 degrees up. So once again we're flying the V, the V is the pitch attitude and the flight path vector is where the airplane is headed. So the nose up is about, the nose is about 8 degrees up and we're climbing at about 4 degrees. The airspeed is decreasing, 235 knots. And we're 2400 foot radar altimeter. And we're going to put the airplane into a descending left turn. So the nose is about 2 degrees, nose down. And with our performance, we're descending, we were descending up to 6 degrees, nose down. So the nose is about right on the right on the zero degree pitch line, and we're descending at about three degrees. This is something you would see for landing. Of course, right now we're in clean configuration for landing. We put flaps out; it will look a little different. So here we are at. 37,000 feet and descending, 37,700 and descending. The, um, the nose of the airplane is right on the zero degree pitch line and the flight path vector is about three degrees down at Earth's horizon. The reason that why there's such a big split between the zero degree pitch line and the Earth's horizon, that's an effect of Earth curvature over 200 nautical miles that the horizon is away from us. The ground has plenty of time to curve down and away. The higher up you go, the bigger that split between the zero degree pitch line and the horizon. Pitching the nose up now. nose is about uh, 3 degrees nose up and the flight path vector is on a 0 degree pitch line meaning we're flying level. If you look in the lower right hand corner you'll see VS minus 50. That should settle out around 0. There it is. 0 degrees VS. Slight climb. Effectively level flight. Ruby HUD, it's, if you want to fly level it's very easy. Just fly the flight path vector onto the 0 degree pitch line. 30 degree bank left turn. Well, there you have it. The HUD of an airliner makes all the difference. It's a great way to fly. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, drop them down below.